Have you ever paused to consider the misconceptions swirling around opioid addiction? The widespread belief that opioid pain medication is highly addictive and that a single prescription can lead to long-term use is one such misconception. But what if the actual scenario was vastly different? Today we delve into a recent groundbreaking Australian study that sheds new light on this topic. A comprehensive analysis was conducted on nearly 3.5 million Australians who were prescribed opioids for the first time. The results were rather striking. A whopping 92% never progressed beyond low opioid use. Only a mere 3% became persistent users or needed higher doses. This challenges the widely held notion of opioids as an expressway to addiction. The study also found that sustained use of opioids was more prevalent in seniors grappling with chronic health problems. This indicates a nuanced picture where context and individual health circumstances play a critical role in opioid use and potential addiction. Now, it's important to remember that previous research painted a different picture, estimating the risk of long-term opioid use as high as 57%. But this Australian study suggests that those estimates may have been flawed. They either excluded people with cancer and opioid use disorder, or used different definitions of long-term use, skewing the results. What does this mean for you and me? Well, the study suggests that most people who start opioid prescriptions have low and time-limited exposure to opioids. It's not a one-way street to addiction, as many have come to believe. The implications of these findings are far-reaching, particularly for policymakers and stakeholders considering the prescribing of high-risk drugs. It's critical to understand that opioids are essential for acute and cancer pain and recognize that many people with chronic non-cancer pain also benefit from opioids. This study also takes a swipe at the Center for Disease Control's advertising campaign. The campaign emphasized the risks of prescription opioids while largely ignoring the more serious problem of illicit fentanyl and other street drugs. This skewed focus misled the public on the true nature of the opioid crisis. Estimates of opioid addiction vary widely, ranging from 1% to 40% for long-term users. This Australian study highlights the imprecision of diagnostic criteria for opioid use disorder. It cites another study that found a significant percentage of US veterans diagnosed with OUD did not exhibit signs of abuse or lacked evidence of the disorder. In conclusion, this Australian study is a game-changer. It debunks myths and misconceptions about opioid addiction providing a more nuanced understanding of opioid use. It's a call to reassess our views, policies, and practices around opioids. And most importantly, it reminds us that every individual's journey with pain management is unique and should be treated as such. To further this conversation, it's crucial we all play our part. We can start by educating ourselves and others, advocating for better policies, and supporting organizations that are making a difference. One such group is Pain Patient Advocacy Australia, they work to support individuals dealing with chronic pain, providing resources, education, and a voice for those most often overlooked. They also strive to influence policy and improve access to adequate pain management for all Australians. To learn more about their work or how you can get involved, visit Pain Patient Advocacy Australia online. Remember, change begins with understanding. Let's all do our part to destigmatize opioid use and support those in our communities who are living with severe chronic pain.